Hey there, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, this evening I have planned for you a spirit animal oracle card reading for the week of December 28th. Happy holidays, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate Christmas or a wonderful Kwanzaa or Hanukkah. Feliz Navidad, happy holidays to you, whatever it is you celebrate. I'm going to be using the same Spirit Animal Oracle card deck that I normally use, the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed for spirit animal guidance and inspiration on your life journey. Oftentimes, the animal kingdom, the spirit world, and the natural world communicate to us via our subconscious mind's subliminal messages. So it's really interesting to get a closer look at what the messages are that each of the spirit animals are trying to convey to us on our life journey. Okay, so I have a Tibetan singing bowl that I will first be using to open up our divine channels, our crown chakras, to help make us all open and receptive to the messages that wish to come through for your highest and greatest good. Just sit back, relax, and take a few deep breaths. Breathe in positivity, love, and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Breathe in positivity, love, and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Breathe in positivity, love, and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Now let us begin with our reading. Dear angels, archangels, and ascended masters of the highest Christed light, please help give me and the viewers of this video spirit animal guidance and inspiration for everyone's highest and greatest good. Okay. <laughs> and let's get a few more spirit animal messages. Okay, here we go. So we have four cards that came out for this week. We have Dog Spirit, which is very interesting because I just heard a dog bark about 30 seconds ago in my apartment complex. So we have Dog Spirit, which says, be loyal to what you love and be loyal to those you love, to who you love. Okay, also be loyal to yourself and be gentle and compassionate with yourself this week, practicing extra self-love and self-care, and just being loyal to you, to your purpose, to your truth, to thine own self be true, okay? So staying loyal to what is important to you and to what you love and who you love, all right? Loyalty is so important. And we have Groundhog Spirit, which says time to let go. I actually was just talking about this with a friend before this reading about the importance of letting go of people who are no longer serving us in our life at this time. Many of you watching this channel are going through a spiritual ascension process where you have woken up to new levels of consciousness and to new levels of spirituality. And oftentimes when we go through a spiritual awakening, it can be lonely because the people that we used to associate with us or the people that we used to associate with may no longer be in alignment with the life we are trying to create for ourselves. So learning to love people at a distance who may no longer be serving you in your life anymore at this time. 
making sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who do support your life mission, who do support your soul purpose and what your soul is calling you to do. And those who love you unconditionally and support you and love you for just being you and who don't try to change you or who try to control you. Make sure you stay away from anybody who tries to control you or tries to dictate how you should live your life. Be sure that you're surrounding yourselves with people who uplift you with positivity and good vibes and who support you and love you no matter what. So now is the time to let go and let God. Let go of anyone who is no longer serving you and give your loved ones to God, the God of your understanding or the universe at this time, trusting that new and better people will be brought into your life to assist you on the next chapter of your life journey, okay? And we have White Raven Spirit, which says, trust in the magic. This is a time of year for miracles, okay? So believe in the miracles. Ask, believe, receive. Ask and it shall be granted to you, all right? For those who believe in miracles, those are the people who often receive the most miracles in life because they're open and receptive to receiving them. Do you believe in miracles? If not, maybe now is the time to start believing in them by affirming that good things are coming your way. Good things are coming your way. Good things are coming your way. Affirm that to yourself three times a day, every day this week, by saying it in the first person to yourself. Good things are coming my way. Good things are coming my way. Good things are coming my way and good things shall come your way. Okay, now is a time to repeat positive affirmations to reprogram your subconscious mind to that of a positive mindset, an abundant mindset that is open and receptive to receiving amazing, wonderful things. You are worthy and deserving of abundance. You are worthy and deserving of love in its highest, purest form. You are worthy and deserving of amazing, wonderful, good things, and you deserve to be happy. So be sure that you get on the abundance frequency and a happiness mindset sooner rather than later by surrounding yourself with positive people, places, and things, positive forms of media, positive uplifting forms of music, because what we feed our ears and our soul has an impact on us, on our mind, body, and soul. So tuning into positive, loving vibrations, 432 hertz and 528 hertz music can be wonderfully healing frequencies. In YouTube, do a little search for 432 hertz or 528 hertz meditation music and it can really help you sleep at night. It can help you to reprogram your subconscious mind and raise your vibration. And we have chameleon spirit, which says act as if. Okay, those of you watching this channel, many of you are master camouflagers where you can blend into any scene, any public setting that you need to. But the point is here is to be authentic and true to yourself and don't be afraid to stand out this week. Don't be afraid to just be yourself and it's okay if you're deemed as the outcast or the weirdo. That's what makes you unique and special. Now is the time to flaunt your differences, flaunt your uniqueness and your quirkiness because that's what people love about you, okay? So stand out. Now is the time to get outside of that chameleon you know, camouflage type vibe that often you may do and stand out and shine brightly for the world to see and be different and embrace your uniqueness and your differences. And also, if you're trying to manifest a particular uh, relationship or a business goal or let's say you want to get a promotion or a raise at work or you're trying to manifest a miracle in your life, Act as if it is already here and keep an attitude of gratitude. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for the many blessings in my life. The more we practice gratitude, the faster our manifestations and our desires come to us at a more rapid rate. So an attitude of gratitude will speed up your ability to manifest your desires and your wishes this week. Act as if they're already here. 
Okay, so this week we want to be on the lookout for dog spirit. If you see any dogs cross your path, that is reminding you to be loyal to yourself and to your true heart's desires. Listen to your heart. Always listen to your heart because your heart is your real internal compass and what your soul is calling you to do, okay? To thine own self be true and also be loyal to those you love, to who you love, and to what you love to do in this life. Always follow your joy. Always follow love instead of fear. Making any, If you have to make any major decisions this week, make sure that you're making these decisions based out of love and what your heart is calling you to do versus making a decision based out of fear and lack and desperation, okay? You will know the right answers. They will intuitively come to you, okay? And making sure that decisions are made from a calm, centered state of mind, not an anxious, panic state of mind, okay? The right answers will come. Just be patient. And Groundhog Spirit is reminding you to let go and let God. Now is the time to let go of anyone who is no longer serving you, okay? Anyone who is no longer in alignment with the life you are trying to create with the new spiritual path that you are on. Making sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who are of a similar spiritual nature and those who also wish to ascend with you to new spiritual heights, making sure that you surround yourself with people who love you unconditionally, who support you in what you're trying to create, and who celebrate you and who make you feel good and happy to be alive. You deserve to be loved and to be surrounded by love and good vibes and good people of an awesome, good spiritual nature. And we have White Raven Spirit once again, which is reminding you to trust in the magic and believe in the miracles. For miracles are so, so common this time of year. Stay open and receptive to receiving these miracles and they shall be granted to you. Just know anything is possible. And with God, all things are possible. Nothing is impossible in the spiritual world. In the earthly realms, in the 3D earthly scientific realms, there are limitations. There are constraints. But in the spiritual realms, in God's world... Anything is possible. There are infinite possibilities, infinite potentialities. So stay open to the possibility of miracles. You deserve a miracle. You deserve love. You are worthy of the best, finest, most amazing things in life. Just remember that and affirm that to yourself. And Chameleon Spirit is reminding you to stop camouflaging all the time and be yourself and show off your unique, authentic expression and show off and flaunt your quirks because that's what makes you so attractive and that's what makes you amazing and different from everybody else. That's what makes you a beautiful gem in this world. So celebrate your unique differences and your unique attributes. That's what makes you amazing. Also, when it comes to manifestations, remember to act as if they're already here. And ask, believe, receive. Ask for a miracle or for a blessing. And if you believe that you are worthy of that blessing and you believe that it's possible, then more than likely you will receive it. It shall be granted to you if you are open and receptive to seeing the miracles that are coming your way. So we have a lot of beautiful energy this week, very lighthearted, very optimistic, miraculous energy this week, okay? This year of 2020 has been a very turbulent, interesting year for us all, but I do believe that the year of 2021 will be one of hope, miracles, and more optimism for us all and a time of unity, a time for us to come together more strongly than ever before with like-minded souls who are also on a similar path who wish to support us so we can support one another on this journey as we ascend vibrationally in creating this new earth, a new heaven on earth, creating and shining more light in this world so the light outshines any darkness that we've been witnessing and seeing. We are the light workers and the way showers of this world. So let us shine our light more brightly than ever before. We can do this together by offering support to one another and being there for one another no matter what. In the comments section of this video, I would love for you to share with me some ways in which you're sharing your light in this world. Is it through music? 
Is it through writing? Is it through smiling at a stranger in the grocery store or just saying hello to somebody who looks like they're having a bad day, who is sad? How are you shining your light uniquely in this world at this time? Maybe we can get some ideas going and learn from one another as to how we can all expand our abilities to spread more love and light in this world at this time because there are so many people in pain right now that need to know there's hope, that need to know that anything is possible and that we can get through anything together. So let's shine some light in the comment section below this video and I'll share some ideas on how we can be a better service to others in this world. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna send you some crystal Reiki energy healing for peace of mind and balance as you go into this week of December 28th. You can just sit back, relax, and be open and receptive to this gentle, form of energy healing. Dichomio. 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 Chokre, chokre, chokre. Seheki, seheki. Say hey ki Han she ze shonen Han she ze shonen Han she ze shonen Brushing away any negativity at this time Slowing down any racing thoughts And getting rid of any anxiety. Just relax. Know that you are safe, you are loved, and all is well. Balancing your crown chakra at this time. Increasing your levels of divine communication so you can be more open and receptive to your guardian angels and your intuition. Balancing your third eye Ajna Chakra, helping you to see beyond the veil, see beyond illusion, and see the greater truths in this world. And balancing your throat chakra, clearing your channels of communication helping you to speak your truth more fearlessly, helping you to speak up, speak more boldly, and speaking your truth. And balancing your Anahata heart chakra, releasing any grief at this time, and replacing this grief with joy, optimism, faith, and unconditional love. And balancing your solar plexus chakra, increasing your levels of courage, willpower, and inner strength, reminding you that you can overcome any obstacle and you can persevere, helping you to rise in your power and remembering the strength and the power that you hold within and balancing your sacral chakra energy center, increasing your levels of sensuality, sensual expression and creativity, increasing your level of creative endeavors and hobbies, and creative expression, and balancing your muladhara root chakra, helping you to feel more safe and secure on this earth at this time and helping you to feel more rooted and grounded in your true life purpose here on earth. And balancing and cleansing your aura. Smoothing your aura out at this time. Just relax. Sending you infinite love.
love. Light and harmony. Daikomio. Daikomio. Seheki, 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 Honche, Se, Shonan, Honche, Se, Shonan, Honche, Se, Shonan. I'm sending you an abundance of peace, <laughs> love, and light from me to you. Go forth in perfect love, harmony, balance, comfort, and alignment. Namaste, beautiful souls.